Hey guys, it's Josh Rossi with Composite Planet. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Josh Rossi Photo. Today what I'm going to be showing you how to do is how to composite out fur like this when sometimes it could be pretty difficult. This might be a lot easier because it's on white, but let's say this was shot on a different background, maybe black or green or something like that. So let's say you already cut out your guy and the fur is the last part remaining just right there. So what I would do is just erase as much as you can up here and get down to just the fur part right there. Okay, now here is the important technique that's really cool. What you wanna do is go to your eraser and pick, I'm gonna go down here to some plant brushes. So you see here there's some trees and then the ones that I wanna use are these right here because those simulate sort of the fur. And what I'm going to do is go window brush and flip that. So something like that. So see those little pointy things are pointed towards that. Make sure I'm at 100% opacity. And then what you're going to do is just erase around here. So make your brush really small. You might not even be able to see it. But what you're going to do is erase everything around here. Just It might take a little bit of time, but it's going to look really good at the end. See see the pattern here that it's creating? It's creating these little like hairy looking things. And that's what you want to do all around the fur. And you can see it's, it's getting rid of the white here. And it's revealing the background, which is really cool. So you guys get the idea. I'm not going to do it on this whole image here. But let's say you erase a little bit too much of the fur. So let's say you erase all that right there. And you want to add more fur. Really simple. Hit S on the keyboard. Go to the clone stamp tool. You're going to pick the same brush or just a similar brush. So where did that go? Let's say right. Where did that brush go? Right there. Okay. You're going to pick that. What you want to do is create a layer underneath the fur layer. So I'm going to click that blank layer and I'm just going to call this fur. And then how you want to do this is you want to sample from the top layer and then paint on the bottom layer. So make sure you're under clone stamp, hit option or alt and sample from any spot here in the fur, which looks good. Just like right there and go down underneath to the fur and, and just paint. I'll make sure this is hundred percent and see how I'm painting in the fur right now. It's looking a lot better. And what you're going to want to do is go back to window brush and change the direction of that so it doesn't look like it's the same direction the whole time. And where did that go? Whoa. It's going crazy. Okay. I'm going to bring this over here. Change the direction again and make your brush smaller and just paint in some of that fur. Anyway, there you go, guys. That is how you paint in fur and how you composite in fur to make it look really good. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And check out Composite Planet for more pro tutorials and free tutorials. We are posting every day awesome content. Um, watch out for the free products, too. Those are really awesome. You can download free backgrounds and use them in your compositing. So thank you guys for watching again, and we will see you again soon.